Have PayPal launched a war against digital entrepreneurs? They seem to be closing accounts left, right and centre that are not in violation of the usage policy. They're not offering a valid reason for closing these accounts. Is your account at risk? How do you protect yourself? And what are the alternatives? Welcome to ProfitCodePilot.com. My name is Mick Meany and I'm here usually to help you to get more traffic so you can profit from your passions. Now today is an in-depth training for you to help you protect your business. You probably know that my account was limited last week, but they did not offer me a valid reason and nobody at PayPal knows why. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to phone PayPal. Remember that prevention is better than cure. So ask them to look through all your marketing material, everything you've got, ask them if you're making any type of policy violation and what you can do to rectify that. Also, notify them if you're planning an upcoming launch. Now, a few years ago, the very first time that I launched a, a product, it did around 20K overnight and I woke up the next day, my PayPal account had been limited. I didn't know why, I phoned them up and they said it was suspicious activity on the account. Of course, it was just a big launch. I didn't have a clue that that would happen. Within minutes, they lifted the limit and sales were coming back in again. So make sure that if you have a launch coming up, you make that phone call, let them know. Also email PayPal, but use this email account. So it's AUP at PayPal.com. That is their acceptable use policy team. Speak to them, communicate directly with them. They might take a little while to get back to you as I'm finding out this week. Okay, so secondly, the second thing that you need to do is set up an alternative. There's plenty out there. I think Ike mentioned Veeam in one of his videos last week. I'm talking about using Stripe. And certainly if you're planning any kind of subscription model, like a membership or coaching program, run it through Stripe or an alternative. Do not run your subscriptions through PayPal. My non-digital marketing business has been hit pretty hard because of that. All those subscriptions were running through PayPal. They're now closed. So learn from that mistake. And listen, the great thing about Stripe is the transaction fees are lower than PayPal. The chargeback fee is also about $5 less as well, I think. So I'm going to show you how to set it up on your WordPress website. I assume you're using WordPress. So I'm going to give you two options. Both are really easy. You just copy me, open up your browser window, follow along. You'll be up and running with Stripe in no time. Let's go install Stripe on your WordPress website. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is install an SSL cert. So that stands for Secure Socket Layer. It creates military level encryption for your customers so their details are secure. So installing an SSL cert is a little bit outside the, uh, the scope of this video. So I'm going to assume that most of you already have an SSL cert because most hosting companies will provide one to you for free so you should already have that set up as standard but if you don't then you can get a free one just google get free ssl you're going to get loads of options here there's loads of ways to get a free ssl have a look through your options see which one is right for you and they're really easy to install there's nothing to it you just have to copy and paste a couple of keys in there like a long string of numbers into uh, cpanel that's it there's nothing to it so I'm going to assume that you already have that set up. So let's go to WordPress and let's make two pages. So we need two pages for this to work. We need a sales page and then we need a thank you page. So let's add new page. I would encourage you to do pages instead of posts. So let's call this sales, sales page demo. And then we say buy my stuff here hit publish obviously you're going to add copy and images and make it look pretty and that kind of thing and now we add a second page add new page and we're going to call this thank you so we say thank you for your purchase
click here to download the ebook. Hit publish. Okay, now we take the URL of this page, open up a new document, paste it in there, and then let's label it thank you page. We just keep that handy for a second. Now let's go back to your sales page demo. Create a new block, hit. Let's see which one do we need. Go to formatting maybe, custom HTML. So leave that block open. Now I want you to go to your Stripe account. Remember to, to validate the account so it all works as it's supposed to. This is a brand new Stripe account for me. I haven't used it yet. There's nothing happening with this. So I want you to go to this little icon up here. So it's like a book, hit that, then click documentation. This is gonna take you to exactly where you need to go. So on the documentation page, we've got loads of options here. I've made it really simple. So we just click payments. This is a shortcut. So scroll down to this code. So we just copy that code. We're going to edit this, but it's really simple. There's nothing to it. We go back to our sales page, paste it in like that. And now we're going to go through this and edit it. It's simple. Don't get freaked out by code. I've made it easy. So we drag in the URL of the thank you page, copy that. And then here form action equals highlight that paste in the thank you page URL. So as soon as someone purchases, they'll be redirected automatically to the thank you page. Then let's go through all of these. So we need to make sure that the data key matches. Let's go here. If you go to developers, API keys, mine is blurred out for security reasons, but you want to grab that publishable key, make sure that it matches that. The default one that you get here is just a demo, so don't worry about it. Now let's look at the data amount. This is in cents, or in my case, because I'm using Great British Pounds, it's in pennies. So at the moment, if we were to make a purchase using this code, the price would be $9 or £9.99. So if you're selling a $27 ebook, just put in 2700. And then that will come out as 27 pounds or dollars, depending on your currency data name. You can leave that as default or add in your business name data description. Just call this whatever your book is called. So awesome ebook from Mick and then the data image. So this is going to be your logo. So I'm going to paste in the link or the URL of my Profit Copilot logo just for demo. It won't look right because my logo is not circular. So paste that in there. Leave these as default if you want to. Change the currency to USD if you want. And then we hit update. Let's go to view sales page. So this is just a demo page. Obviously buy my stuff here. And you see this button pay with card. If you click that, you're going to get this nice little pop up window. Obviously, the logo doesn't look right on mine. Yours might look better. Then you'll have the uh, business name and then the product name. And then people will be able to enter in their card details. And then there we have the payment for 27 bucks. So that's really simple, really easy. Only takes a few minutes. Nothing too technical, right? easy stuff. And when someone makes a purchase, they'll be automatically redirected to this page where they can download your ebook. Nice. I promised you another way of doing it. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and we're going to use a plugin. So install plugins, add new. And then we're going to search for WordPress simple pay. And 
and then it should be it's the first one it's right in front of me i think i'm going blind <laughs> okay let's install that and then activate it whenever this host decides it's going to work for me this is a demo site hosted on InMotion Hosting, so slow. Click Activate. There we go. So this is freemium, so you can up, upgrade to a pro version if you want. You don't need to. The free version is, is adequate. It's going to be fine. So simple pay. Let's go to Settings. Here you put in your te your uh, keys that you get from the API. Lots of options for you. You can uh, change change quite a lot with this plugin, so it will improve the customer experience. But let's go to payment forms. Let's assume that you have the keys put into the settings because it's so simple I don't need to walk you through that right you've already seen that form so you just paste in your keys there so payment forms add new so here you just set your price so of, of a product decide what copy you're going to use So lots of options there, hit create, and now you can grab that short code. Let's go back to our sales page. See this code, you can just grab that, paste in the short code, hit update. So if you're selling a lot of products, you might want to use that plugin so you don't have to go through editing the form every single time you add a new product. So hit view page and there you can see it's in test mode. We'll change the button name to buy now. There you go. Works just the same. And there it is, 27 bucks and now it's in dollars. So that's it, simple stuff. Anyone can do this. You don't need to hire a developer or a techie person to do this for you. You can do it yourself. I've had a few emails over the last few days from people saying, how do I do this? How do I, how do I install Stripe on, on my website? I'm using WordPress. How do I do it? This is how you do it. I know that a few of you guys have been going out to Upwork, freelancer and sites trying to hire a developer to do it for you. You don't need to do that. Save yourself a few pound. Do it yourself. You've seen how easy it is. OK, and now you've got all that set up. What if you want traffic and customers to your website? Well, I'm going to give you a free training series when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. Grab that. Everything I show you is completely free. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below. Subscribe to the channel too. hit that little notification bell so you don't miss an update anytime I upload another video, which is probably going to be tomorrow. So thanks for checking this out. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you again tomorrow, guys. Take care.